What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is The Full Measure and recently I've been putting together a list of builds whether they are PvE or PvP for the current meta weapons as well as just really good feeling weapons in Season of Plunder in Destiny 2 right now and most likely these builds will continue on to be good on these weapons after the season comes out. I'm going to be straight up and say that sidearms are probably not my favorite weapon archetype in Destiny 2. I wouldn't say they're my least favorite, but they got to be right up there in the top top three for sure. But today we're going to look at the empirical evidence or evidence, as you would say it, if you were from South Africa like me. The point is that this is a primary ammo kinetic damage sidearm that shoots in two round bursts. And it's something that you can actually craft once you unlock the pattern, which means that you're able to put together the exact version of this weapon that you're looking for. Now, looking at the base stats of this, it has a fairly decent impact stat, uh, but I think definitely the range, the stability, and the handling are a bit ass with this. And so what we have to try and do with the selection of traits, as well as barrels and magazines and so forth for the weapon, is we have to try and build something that actually just elevates those stats a little bit and makes the weapon a little bit more usable. Now jumping straight into the PVE side of things, we are going to be picking up corkscrew rifling in our barrel because this gives us an increase to stability range and handling, which are those three stats that I mentioned just now, which are a little bit lacking on this weapon. So that then feeding directly into our choice for our magazine, which is ricochet rounds, will give us an additional amount of range as well as stability. And these are small ways in which we can make the weapon feel better and just actually make it sure that we are landing those follow up shots as well as, you know, every single bullet from those two round bursts. Now, when it comes to trait one and two, when it, and, and, and specifically speaking about sidearms, generally there aren't a huge amount of great choices available to us here and most likely what you want to be trying to do is is put together a weapon that is like a backfill weapon for you or something that you can use to possibly benefit other weapons or benefit your abilities now in the case of this particular setup here we've gone for the latter so we want to be trying to build something that helps us to bring our abilities back online so we can get more grenades out more melees out more ultis out and all of that so in our first trait we are going to be picking up encore encore says that you, basically you have precision final blows triggering a stacking range bonus so every time you kill something with a precision final blow then you are going to be seeing this weapon being more effective at a longer range and then when you have a non-precision final blow it actually takes all of those stacks off but then it gives you an accuracy and stability uh, increase so essentially you can juggle between the range and the stability like that by you know popping off two two enemies with precision kills and then you know body shotting the, the third guy and essentially you can juggle between these two sets of modifications or rather these two sets of buffs to your stats and that way it actually you know makes the gun feel like there's almost like a gunplay in terms of like when you jump into a group you get the first two with precision shots one of them runs away and because he's running away you're benefiting from the range that you're getting from those precision stacks so you shoot him in the back he dies and you get some additional uh, essentially accuracy and stability for your follow-up gunfight not that great that uh, trait as a whole is not that awesome but when we get to the second trait here and this is where this weapon actually shines for me when i choose to use it is wellspring wellspring is well known and this essentially says that it creates like ability energy it generates ability energy for every time that you kill with this weapon so that means that when you've just popped off with your ultimate you've just thrown your your grenades out or something like that you swap to the sidearm and you execute a bunch of enemies and that's actually going to start feeding some ability energy back into your ability so you can get them out quicker now psycho hack is the origin trait on you which says that sustained damage from this weapon basically debuffs whatever you're shooting at and makes them deal 10 percent less damage so this is in pve pretty cool because it means that you can actually in a way weaken some of the tougher enemies by putting a couple of shots into them with this bearing in mind though that it can't just be one burst it has to be a couple of bursts it has to be sustained fire to proc this then when we get over to the masterwork side i generally speaking and anybody that's been watching this series of videos will know that i favor range above most stats it's generally a stat that i try to get as much of as possible of course not to the detriment of the other ones 
specifically when it comes to this weapon here again i go for the range side but you can absolutely benefit from slapping on a stability masterwork here because stability happens to be at the base values of this weapon happens to actually be the lowest stat out of range stability and handling so you can absolutely put a stability masterwork in here but again for me by putting in a range masterwork here we can get the range to about 60 out of 100 which is fairly decent and about as good as you can get with a weapon of this kind last but certainly not least this weapon is pretty much what you use on trash and again coupled with the fact that we are using wellspring because we're trying to bring more ability energy into our bolt you absolutely will be using this to slay trash and kill like all of the inferior enemies as they're running around then getting us over to the pvp side of things we are going to be sticking with the same barrel and the same magazine as we saw on the pve side of things again our weak stats here range stability and handling we want to be bringing those up those are very important in gunfights especially against other human enemies so we want to be taking corkscrew rifling to give us that increase in stability handling and range and we want to be getting ricochet rounds to give us that increase in range as well as stability then when we get over to trade one and trade two absolutely in trade one your best option bar none is perpetual motion it is kind of like a go-to pvp stat it's really really good and basically what it does is as long as you are in motion you're getting more stability handling and reload speed with this weapon now in pvp generally it's kind of like you know if you stand still you die so you're going to be moving around a lot in any case and this will just give you the enhance you know the the increased or uh, the increasing of those stats whereas if you have the enhanced version of this it's really going to buff those up by quite use amount and that's actually going to even go to a multiplied two so how perpetual motion works is you can you actually have two levels of it so you have level one and you'll notice it as the buff increases on the side you can actually get a times two version which is then at two stacks of this which means you're going to be really really benefiting from this so running and gunning being on the move dodging all of that stuff uh as you do in pvp in general will be very beneficial here and trade one is going to help you capitalize off that that leads us directly into trade two which is Diego. Well, I'm 100% sure Adagio. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong either which fucking way. But uh, this basically says that when you defeat an enemy, right? The Whether this weapon now, Adagio is on a couple of different weapons. You also get this on fusion rifles. But specifically how it works on sidearms is when you defeat an enemy, your follow-up shots are actually going to be slower. So you're going to fire. Your fire rate is going to be slower. But you are going to be hitting 30% harder. So that means that in a situation where you have a two-piece uh, or you have a weak person and a guy at full HP, you put some bullets in the weak guy and it's Adagio is going to buff up the weapon and you're going to put a whole bunch of shots into an enemy. I'm definitely thinking I'm saying it right now. Adagio, Adagio. Yeah, it's rolling off the fucking tongue. Uh, your follow-up shots are just going to hit that much harder and uh, that's actually going to increase the damage profile of the weapon significantly. 30% is no joke and it's nothing to sneeze at. Now, Psycho Hack on here is a small amount of damage debuff to your target for three seconds. Again, not entirely super, super useful in PvP. I definitely think it has a much bigger place in PvE. But nonetheless, not like we can pick another origin trait. So it is what it is. When it comes to a masterwork, same kind of explanation that I gave on the PvE side. I favor range a lot on most of my weapons. But absolutely, stability is perfectly fine to pick up here as well and then specifically when it comes to the weapon mod i pick up counterbalance stock here because what that does is it decreases the bounce intensity the recoil intensity of this weapon to zero or uh, increases decreases whichever way you want to look at it but the point is it zeroes out this and that makes this weapon extremely extremely stable as a platform and if you are having any problems with landing your follow-up shots or landing your two-round burst before putting counterbalance stock in here, you those problems will evaporate once you put that in there. So again, sidearms play a little bit different than pretty much anything else in the game. And certainly also different kinds of sidearms play differently as well. So if you are trying to actually main sidearms in PvP content, it is going to be one of those weapons that you are going to have to be spending some time with and getting good at. But once you do, it, it, it is a unique kind of combat due to the fact of how fast you can work with these weapons, that you can work from the hip very comfortably with them, and because you can be so hyper mobile once you are actually 
on the move and fighting a bunch of enemies. On screen right now are both the PvE and the PvP setups for this for an easy screenshot so that you don't have to scroll through the video too much. And that's gonna be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. Let me know in the comments down below if you use sidearms a lot, if you prefer this setup or how you would change it. Specifically for me, this is not a weapon archetype that's very popular uh, with my loadouts. It's not something that I use a lot, but you absolutely need to have one or two of these in your arsenal, one or two decent sidearms in your arsenal, if only for the reason of having to do a quest or farm out a specific piece of content that requires you to use sidearms to kill with it. Empirical evidence is good though because the fact that it's a crafting weapon or a craftable weapon means that you can set up exactly the one that you want. I only wish that we had a bigger pool of traits, whether it's trait one or trait two. I just overall wish we had a bigger pool of traits to pick from, but who knows what we can see in the future coming on the sidearm side. That's it for me. Thank you again. It's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning, afternoon, and evening, wherever you are in the world. And until next video, fucking cheers. They want the best of me now. Best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now, best of me now, best of me now, best of me. They want the best of me now.